Greetings and greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So you've all probably wondered about this, this screenshot of mine. Well, the whole new calculus uh, is summarized in these three lines. And I'll explain to you in a minute that for right from the very start, the new calculus uses the mean value theorem as its definition of derivative. Well, so how does it work? Let's see. So we've got this expression here, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up because I want to write on another page. So I'm going to go like that and say control C and copy. And I'm going to paste it here, right? So now, so how do you say that is the same as a mean value, value theorem? Well, it's very simple. Watch. Now, if I say B equals to C plus N, and I say A is equal to C minus M, then M plus N is going to equal to B minus A, right? Why? Because N is equal to B minus C, and M is equal to C minus A. So if you add B minus C and C minus A, you're going to get B minus A. Okay, so at the bottom, you'll have B minus A. And since C plus N is equal to B, you have F of B minus. And since C minus M is equal to A, F of A is equal to F prime of C. It's as simple as that, people. So, you know, the idiots who said that the new calculus is wrong were actually trashing the mean value theorem. Isn't that amazing? Right. Well, okay. <clears throat> so that's the first part of it. Now, the mean value theorem also takes care of the definite integral. And you've probably seen this expression here in the middle, this expression here. Um, this part here isn't isn't part of the new calculus, okay? It's not part of the new calculus. <clears throat> Just the left part. Now, you'll be wondering what this is about, okay? And, of course, what F prime mu sub S is about, okay? So, let's see. Let's do this. Do that. Pick that up. And put it over here, like that, okay? Now, let's make this a bit bigger. Okay, and let's move this a bit further up so we've got more space. How's that? How about that? Very good. Now, now we can write. Now, again, <clears throat> using the same logic as before, we could say that f of b minus f of a is equal to b minus a over k, this k here, okay? Uh, sigma k minus 1, s is equal to 0, from s is equal to 0 to k minus 1, of f prime mu sub s. Okay. Now, you could find these for s is equal to, let's say k is equal to 2, okay? So let's choose, it doesn't matter what integer k value is, so let's choose 2. So if k is 2, we're going to have from s is equal to 0 to 1, right? Okay, so we've got 0 and 1 where we need to evaluate f mu, f prime mu sub s, okay? So f prime mu 0 is equal to f of a plus 2 b minus a over 2 minus f I'm sorry I've actually calculated mu 1 that's okay let's do mu 1 and then we'll go back and do uh, mu 0 so that's that's mu 1 and that's all over all over b minus a right and f prime mu zero is going to be f of a plus b minus a over two minus f of a like that 
all over b minus a. Okay. So <clears throat> as you can see here, <coughs> if these twos cancel out, this whole expression here is just f of a, right? f of a. And this f of a cancels out with this f of a. So we've only got this expression here, f of a plus b minus a over 2. And, oops, where am I, where, where am I going? <laughs> Come back. Okay. Um, so over here, what will we have? And this one, if we cancelled out, we'll have f of b, right? So we can have this. This expression here becomes f of b. F of b. Excuse the mess. Then, uh, then these two expressions cancel out. And I'm sorry they didn't cancel out in the beginning. So <laughs> maybe I should do that again, right? Yeah, let me do that again. Let me do that again. Why not? This is a bit messy. Okay, try to get it right this time. Let's use black ink. Let's do F mu zero this time. F prime mu zero is equal to F of A plus B minus A over two minus F of A. And that's all over B minus A. And F prime M one is going to be f of a plus 2b minus a over 2 minus f of a plus b minus a over 2 all over b minus a, right? <clears throat> so now the ones that will cancel out are which ones? Well, let's see. What's going to happen to this, this guy here if we cancel the twos? we're going to get f of b, right? So this guy becomes f of b. There's nothing to cancel out with that one, but the, this cancels out with this. So we'll have f of b minus f of a, right? f of b minus f of a over b minus a, which is exactly what we had in the beginning, wasn't it? Okay, exactly what we had in the beginning when we substituted values in here. And we said that this is f of b minus f of a of b minus a. So the value of k doesn't really change. And as you can see, there are no limits, no infinitesimals, no garbage of any ill-formed concept. And you have a rigorous, 100% rigorous new calculus. So <clears throat> if you're not a rare subscriber, Please become one. Click like on my channel. I am persecuted by the mainstream. They hate me and are pathologically jealous of me. And uh, they wish to keep you in your ignorance and keep you struggling and thinking that you cannot do mathematics when you actually can. Because there's no such thing as a person who cannot master mathematics if taught using well-formed concepts. I also have a free members, I mean a members-only channel, which you would subscribe to for $4.99 a month. And I recommend that you join that channel. It's just a cup of coffee every month. That's all it is. And uh, click like on my videos, become a subscriber, follow me on academia.edu, and I'll chat with you again soon. Goodbye.